harvesting the first cantaloupe. Ooh, it's delicious and juicy. Store-bought cantaloupes are dried out compared to this. This has so much water content. When the melons are growing, they're kind of a deep green. And I've noticed when they're ready to harvest, they turn a light tan. This variety is called musk melon. Well, the possum ate my last musk melon, and I think that's what happens. The possums smell the melons because they're really pungent. I guess that's why they call them musk melons. And then the possum discovered the tomato plant, and it just totally crunched it by climbing on the branches. It pulled it all down. Here's my fig tree. Even if you don't grow a fig tree, I would suggest everybody try a fresh fig. It's probably the most delicious thing I've ever experienced. You might be able to find them at a farmer's market. I was able to find these at Whole Foods. This little container costs about five dollars. And both the dark figs and the green figs are delicious. I can't really tell a difference. They taste the same. And they pretty much taste the same as my fresh figs. If you buy them, make sure you get ones that are really soft. Here's the red sail lettuce seeds I started in a Ziploc. And I put them up here on my deck next to the railing so it kind of shades it out so the plants don't get too much sun and heat. Harvesting lots and lots of peppers. Here's an update on my freezer stash. Green beans are packing it in. These are Serrano hot peppers. These are probably my favorite peppers to freeze because they fit nicely in the bag. The flavor and hotness is almost identical to a jalapeno. And I like that there's like no air pockets. The entire pepper is like solid filled 
the spicy goodness and the kale still kicking lots of salads from that cucumbers and green beans are fizzling out which is normal cucumbers grow and then kind of die off here's my last cucumber 